What it means to me to be honored is just the importance that the Colorado Society places on doing volunteer services in our community and um, what our profession means to the community as well. I got involved with the Raymond Wentz Foundation through some contacts at the office. Uh, the organization was started by an oncologist here in Denver who had a patient named Raymond who was 17 years old when he was diagnosed with lymphoma. And Raymond was 17 on his own with his sister. They didn't have parents that were supporting them at that point. And so Raymond and his sister really struggled um, through his chemotherapy treatment. And actually, they told a story once of how Raymond actually rode his bicycle to his chemotherapy treatments and sometimes he would be late because he had to ride his bike to chemo and during Raymond's final days, you know, the doctors and the nurses really discovered what a terrible financial situation he and his sister were in and so they all started pitching in to help Raymond through the last days of his life and helping him and his sister. And it meant a lot to me because I was a kid who was on my own at a young age with my sister and we were working and struggling and if something had happened to us, we would have been in that same situation and we were lucky that we weren't and we were able to do what we wanted to do with our lives, but I have a soft spot for his story and also I think all of us have had cancer affect our family members and know that when you're in that situation even a little bit of help can go a long way. The kinds of things that I've been involved with with the Raymond Wentz Foundation are um, serving as the board treasurer and it's a pretty small organization. It's only been around for uh, less than 10 years, so now this is the first year that they've ever had a financial statement audit and there have been some struggles in going through that process with the organization and taking them to the next level of getting grants and that sort of thing. I've been involved in a couple of fundraising activities. We had a wine tasting this year and then we also did the Step Up for Cancer this summer where we went to Dick Sporting Good Park and walked all the steps in the stadium on behalf of cancer and did that as a fundraising activity, so that was a lot of fun to do. I think the most valuable lesson I've learned about being a volunteer over my career is that you need to get involved with an organization that you have some passion for. I've been involved with organizations in the past and felt like I contributed a lot to them and learned a lot and met a lot of great people, but if I didn't have a real interest in the organization and their mission, it felt like a little bit of work to be involved and to get going with the organization and I felt like I do a better job and I'm i um, happier to spend my volunteer hours doing things where I have a real passion for the organization. It's nice to be recognized um, and follow in the footsteps of those that have come before me and, and won this award. And I think as CPAs and professionals, it's important to give back to the community that serves us. When you're looking to get involved, especially as a young CPA, look for something you're passionate about. Um, you can go to any organization and, and sit on a board and, and help them out, but if you're not passionate about the cause, um, it's not quite as fulfilling. Friends of the Julie Penrose Fountain is an organization that we started a couple years ago to help save the fountain in Colorado Springs. It's in America, the beautiful park. Um, the city's budget cuts. The fountain was in jeopardy of being turned off. And I think in economic times that we're currently facing, it's important to have an outlet for the citizens to be able to go to and spend time with their families free of charge. The parks are kept green and fountains going. The community is concerned about, it, about its citizens. Um, I am currently the chair of the Colorado Springs chapter for the State Society um, and working with other young professionals in the community to, to bring attorneys, financial advisors, accountants together for networking purposes. Uh, the chapter's been, been fun, getting it up and going this year, um, getting my arms around that. Uh, that'll teach me for sitting next to Mary at, at an event. <laughs> Work-life balance, that's a, that's a constant struggle, I think, for any of us in this profession. Um, and it's something that is a constant juggle. Uh, we have a de very demanding career. Um, and profession and there just seems that you can always find a few hours in a given week or month to make a commitment to an organization. There's so many underprivileged people that don't have the benefits and um, things necessary to make their lives 
better or complete or have the resources. And to be able to give back to the community in, in those ways is, is very important. It's just an incredible honor. And I'm so proud to be a member of the profession. You know, when I was in my 20s, I guess sometime, I sat for the exam like lots of students and didn't really realize what I was getting into. But um, you know, I got that certificate and I've been a member of the profession ever since. And it's, it's such a giving profession. The people in the profession are so generous with their time and they give so much. And it's just so proud to be a part of the profession and then to be honored in this way is just really an unbelievable experience. I've had several of our graduates come back who wanted to talk about doing a PhD program, who were thinking about going into academia. And that's a huge change in a lifestyle, income levels, and lots of other things. So to be able to, the fact that they wanted to come and talk to me about it and trusted me to have an opinion that was worth listening to was a, a very, is very rewarding. So that's one of the other kind of mentoring activities on top of the what I think of as standard mentoring with students, which is having an open door and welcoming them whenever they want to come in and talk about anything. Well, I'm particularly proud of Beta Alpha Psi at the University of Denver because we have been very proactive in having programs and helping students develop themselves outside the classroom. So although we have the standard kind of professional programs where some CPA or someone else like that comes in to talk to them, they do so many activities that involve uh, charitable events and charitable giving. It amazes me how much time and effort they put into charitable activities and way beyond the, the, the requirements of their program, their classes. I've written, co-authored or co-authored over 35 books in my career, so I'm proud of that as a long-term accomplishment. And it's kind of humbling to think that thousands, tens of thousands of students have learned their accounting based on what I wrote. Um, and I hope I wrote it well so that they understand it very well. A couple years ago, I was elected to the uh, board of the Educational Foundation, and that's been particularly rewarding because partly it's fun because you give away money to students, but I've been a really strong advocate on that committee for uh, what I would call rationalizing the giving of scholarships. So we've really moved to emphasizing giving the scholarships to people who are committed to being accounting majors because they're juniors, seniors, or graduate students. And obviously with 150 hours coming in, there's gonna be a lot more demand from grad students to have, have support. So that's been a really fun activity. And hopefully everyone in the audience knows that the silent auction, every single dollar goes to a scholarship, 100% of every dollar. So hopefully everyone's bid way off what things, those things are worth and as we're going to get a lot of money so we can give more scholarships in the future.